enjoy tonight. And I'm actually looking forward to setting this little rig up and uh, getting onto my target. I should be using uh, the 2600 one shot color with this setup here. It's going to be run with the ASV Air Plus. There we go, that's in. Bring the rig out. Put it on the mount. And then I'll get power behind. Right, so the booty with this little rig here is just one cable going down to the battery there. And everything else is all self-contained on the rig here. Should have really set this up during daylight. Yeah, that's clearly not going in there. Get more light on the subject. It's looking better. Here we go. One lead down to the battery. All right, and that's it. So I just got to wait for this firmware update. It always seems to happen whenever I put on the iPad. It's a firmware update. This is actually for the ASIR Plus. Anyway, it looks like it's completed. Now let's pick a target. Right, I've decided my target tonight will be LDN1235, otherwise known as the Dark Shark Nebula. Now, somewhere in my favourites, here in the ASAR Plus, I have got stored um, those coordinates. Here you go, my favourites, Dark Shark. So, I actually, before I do this, I haven't put a line. I'm jumping the gun, I need to quickly put a line, and then I'll slew around to my target. Right, so, very quickly, I'm gonna pull a line, so I'll log on to the app here, which is the iOptron iPolar, so I'll click on connect. That's connected. I'll go to settings. So I should have a dark frame there, which I have already. Auto load dark frame. Yep, that's okay. Right, let's um, take the little cap off, and we should see some stars. Oh, there we go, look. See the little red dot? I've just got to put that over the cross, and then we'll be polar aligned. So you can see this is in real time, just how quick this can be done. There we go, fine tune that. Now mine doesn't go green like everybody else's does because I'm still on the old software, but I believe that if it works, don't fix it. There you go. Palo aligned. What was that? 20 seconds? 30 seconds? Very accurate, very quick. I love this program. We're done. So now I can slew round to my target and get focused. And now I can go back to the ASIR on my iPad. And I can click on the dark shark here. Uh, hit go to. Oh, actually, I've got to stop. Stop, 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 stop. Go to home position. I am making a schoolboy error here. I have not balanced the rig. In fact, if you notice, I don't even have any weights on. How bad is that? No weights. Big, big schoolboy error. Let me grab those weights and get balanced very quickly. So this is one of the problems with having a permanent setup in the observatory. You don't have to do this because it's already done. And if you go for a while without setting up your portable rig, you forget these little things. And this is a prime example here that I'm setting, or uh, shouldn't really be setting an example like this at all, but just goes to show even people that have been doing this for quite a while 
and still make these mistakes. Anyway, that's been rectified, the, the weights are on, so let's balance the rig. Way heavy. Let's move them up there. Let's flip them over. I wonder how far I would have got with the the weights on. I think the guiding might have been a bit off. <laughs> right, that's actually, that's not too bad. Oh no, do you know what just happened when I did that? The cable come loose in the Pegasus power box and I lost power. So it's just disconnected. That is very annoying. It's not quite balanced anyway, but it's very annoying. Now, I seem to have a problem with this Pegasus power box and the cables. They all seem to be a bit loose and wobbly. And to be honest with you, I'm not that impressed with it. It shouldn't disconnect when the rig moves around like that. I'm using the correct cables. It's the spring clipped 12 volt DC in. So it's the correct plug. But you knock it like I moved it just then. You saw what happened. I moved it, the cable moved and it disconnected power. So that's not very good. That's got to be something wrong with that Pegasus power box. And it's not the lead. Nothing wrong with the lead. It's not the first time it's happened. Anyway, uh, we're back on, so let's uh, get connected again. Right, luckily I hadn't started the imaging session or that would have been annoying. Anyway, we're connected. Yes, yeah, so yeah, come on. What I find I have to do, shut it down properly myself and then reboot it because it didn't start back up the way I wanted it to so let's um let's just flip that off and then one again and let it start up again from scratch. Thought we saw a cat then this is fun is this fun? Is this the definition of fun? I'm not sure. Somebody please tell me. Right. Try again. I did see a cat, hello. Hello mate. Right, it's connected. That's better, that's the screen I wanted to see. And, uh, uh, quick check, all looks okay, yep, enter. Right, back to where we were. Well, at least I'm part of the lines and I've got the weights on now, so that's a good thing. Right, we'll go back to my target. Dark shark is still in there, so right, we'll try again. Let's slew to the dark shark and we're off. That's pointing at the roof. Come on. Right, so let's have a look. Where are we? How's the garden doing? It's not. It's just not playing ball tonight. It's not guiding. What's going on with this? Star lost. We'll start again. Yeah, it's definitely uh, playing up a little tonight. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to fail again. Don't really know why. Don't like it. I'm going to stop it. It's not happening. Ah, oh, west at 50. That's ridiculous. Stop. I'm going to have a little fiddle with this and see if I can sort it out. We've now got it focused. So I'm now... Guiding at 0.61, I'm now going to do a 
two minute exposure to try and see if I can see where the dark shark is so I can set the framing up because I don't know yet the orientation or where baits in the frame it is because it doesn't actually show me when I click on the framing tool. You can't actually see it. This is going to be a bit tricky. I'm going to turn it about a quarter of a turn handy clockwise. So here's the rotator button, so I'll undo that. Now I've got to turn this handy clockwise a quarter turn very carefully. All right, we'll try that. I've done it. Right, so that orientation is much better. Okay, so there's one 10 minute sub on the dark shark, and you can clearly see it now. And it is pretty central. That is the frame that I want. So I'm going to go with that. Finally. So, guidance on 0.42, not too bad. And at 10.46, finally, I'm hitting start. Hit confirm and away we go. So this rig is all ready to go and Nina is gonna open the roof for me at about 20 past eight. Um, it's now about half past seven. So there's just a little time to wait for that. So outside here, this rig is already working and that is on the dark shark. Better turn the light out because uh, we are actually imaging right now. So as you can see, this is not working. That's tap error, plate solve failed. Um, oh, I can't seem to close these down, these one. These won't get out of my way. Whatever I click on is non-responsive. Uh, can't get rid of those error messages. They're not shutting down. So I can't get access to my stop button, my pause button. I've lost connection with the mount. I had problems with this earlier, but I did solve it. I mean, it was working. Ah, uh, dear, come on. What's happening? Nothing's happening. Ah, it's just the mount is an issue. Oh, it's not playing ball. When I click connect, nothing happens. Nothing's happening at all. So it's non-responsive. I'm just gonna have to shut it down, start it all again. Disconnect all devices. Yep, done. So, my man is stuck in that position and nothing's working. Let's have a look at EQ mod. Connect error, yep. You're not kidding. Here we go, device manager. Comports. Right, let's just pull the plug on the mount. Which one went? Comport six disappeared. So if I plug a mount back in, now Comport 6 should appear again, and it does. So the mount is Comport 6. Close that down. Fan Comport 6. There we go. We'll connect all devices. See what we get connected. Camera, field wheel, telescope, focuser, rotator, PHD2, Right, so I want the switch and the dome to show. There's a the switch, and there's a the dome, right. Close all, uh, miniaturize these. Now let's just see, we click on the mount, you same park. So I'm gonna click park and see what it does. Okay, literally got to start again. I've got to go into advanced sequencer and set it up. So finally, both rigs are working and I can sit back and just enjoy looking up at the stars. It's taken that long to get both of these rigs working.